Hi, this is Frank with Servac Management Services coming at you from the Think Tank. Today we're going to take you to the field to show you how easy it is to install a geothermal well. This particular project is a four ton residential system which only requires one 200 foot borehole with a double loop. So come on out to the field to see how it's done. to their website uh, they show you exactly how to put these double loops together and how to arrange these tips uh, we've got a weight on the end of it to help drag it down into the hole uh, we don't anticipate any problems putting this down into the hole uh, when the couple we've done so far uh, the weight of the pipe at first we'll just uh, take in and that weight on the end we'll just uh, drag it down into the hole without any problem until you get down below the water level in the hole last one we drilled had 140 feet of water in the bottom of it. It's a 200 foot hole. So once you hit that water, the pipe will go down some, uh, some amount. And then you need to start, and then it will stop because of the buoyancy in the pipe. What you do is fill them up with water, and as you fill up each of the pipes with water, the weight just drags it down to the bottom of the hole. So this is the backfill for our, uh, our, our hole. We have quartz sand, quartz silica sand, with oak leaves in there, making sure we got it good and stirred up. And then we have half uh, number 10 limestone. And we're just gonna load this in with the front end loader and uh, shovel it down in a hole and we'll flush it down with some water. So that's how we're gonna do our back fill and make sure we get the whole completely back here. Here, our driller friend, John Minert, is dowsing the area to determine where groundwater is running in the fissures of the rock. This is an important step because holes with the most groundwater perform the best. Once the location of the well is determined and the drilling rig set, the drilling operation begins. One of the most difficult tasks for drillers is to control the water so as not to make a mess. Here we've excavated a pit to decant off the drilling water and accumulate the cuttings. The well drilling operation with John's rig took less than two hours. Once the well has been drilled, it is measured to determine its actual depth and the depth of the groundwater table. In this well, the water table was found to be 60 feet from the surface, leaving us with 140 feet of water in the bore. This well has only five feet of soil or overburden which did not require a surface pipe, also referred to as casing. We've prepared the double three quarter inch U-tubes by laying them out to ease installation. Once the weight is inserted into the hole, the tubes will literally fall until they encounter the groundwater table, and then they become buoyant. To get the assembly completely inserted, water is pumped into the tubes and the assembly settles to the bottom of the bore. The last step in the borehole installation is backfilling the hole with the sand limestone fill. This method was chosen Preview. over using thermally enhanced grout because of ease of installation, lower cost, and better thermal performance. As always, bentonite is used to seal the surface water from entering the groundwater table at the surface of the bore. I hope you found this video informative and have gained a greater understanding of how a vertical closed loop geothermal well is installed. Visit our website for more information on how we design geothermal heating and cooling systems for commercial and residential buildings.